So in this video, we are going to install our PIM core. And I'm already at the PIM core install site that opens up the first time you try to access your website. And it will redirect you to slash install. If this doesn't happen, just try to delete all your files and unpack the PIM core latest zip file again. And I will open up our Heidi SQL. As said before, if you don't use Heidi SQL on Windows or on Linux, which you can do with Wine, and you're on a Mac OS, then you probably can use SQL. I think it's called SQL SQL. Just Google for it. It's, as far as I know, a free tool. I'm not on a Mac here. But a colleague of mine has great experience with that. In Heidi SQL or in other, any other development tool, you have to create a new database. Let's call it our PIM core database. And I always give it a UTFA general CI collation. If you want, you can also go to the command line. And I will not show it to you, but you can go to the command line, log into the uh, MySQL with the command line tool like MySQL. Uh, the user is root, the password is root, and then Heidi SQL shows you conveniently the commands that it actually types into the background into the MySQL console. Now we have our PIM core database. We take our dev user that we created before, or you create a new one. Uh, it doesn't matter. We add an object. We select the PIM core database and we select all functions here, all the functions. Click save. And then we are ready to go to install our PIM core. That's a PDO MySQL, that's uh, the right adapter. Um, we're going to install it on the local host. Port uh, 3306 is the right port. Username is dev user. And the database is PIM core. And for our admin panel, we generate a password and I copy this. And then we hit install. And as soon as it's installed, we can actually log in with our password and admin and then hit login. And I'm going to just save this for now here temporarily. And our login should be smooth. And we are presented with the PIM core admin panel. In the next videos, we are going to look around in the PIM core admin panel and see what we can do here.